Well, welcome to the show, and there was a lot of love in the air yesterday, I can tell you, on Valentine's Day. I don't know about you guys, but I actually didn't get too much, but hey, that's what happens when you get a bit older. But the good news is there's a lot of love in the air out there in the marketplace, and we're off to SA's finest at Mount Compass to look at an unbelievable property. It's actually an event property, and you'll love it. We're going, going, gone section, and we're going to show you some properties that we've sold, and there's been plenty of those as well. The weekly market update, which we're obviously doing every week now, to let you know what is happening in the market. And don't forget, we're live, we're interactive, and look forward to your questions and answers for the end of the show. Now that Mount Compass uh, property that we talked about that you'll see later in the show, drove past that today on the way down to Victor and on the way back, had breakfast down there. That is some property, so I'm looking forward to seeing the video on that one. And um, now this Friday night, the Variety Club's Black and Chrome event, which I'm bike number eight, uh, and we're looking for more people to come down to that because it's a big fundraiser for kids, for sick kids, uh, and it's the children's charity, so it's a great cause. If you want a rock and roll night, the food is amazing. All you can drink, all you can eat, of course you wouldn't be drinking much, would you? But all you can drink, all you can eat, and a rock band uh, on Friday night down at the Grand, uh, down at Glenelg. Uh, if you want to go to that ring variety, get booked in straight away. It'll be an awesome night. Now today we've got joining us uh, in a few moments um, one of the head on shows, one of the, the big deals from the Commonwealth Bank, a great person. I'll introduce her a bit later. But first let's go to the inside story on the suburbs which you'll find that people aren't moving as often as they should because we as agents like people to move a lot, but the people who stay put in their homes for the longest periods. Let's have a look. When it comes to choosing where to live, it appears South Australians are all about lifestyle. RP data statistics show homeowners in Kensington Gardens and Kensington Park are holding on to their properties longer than those in other suburbs. In Kensington Gardens, the average hold period for homes is nearly 11 years and just over 10 years in Kensington Park. This compares to a median period of seven and a half years. Well known for good schools, parks and well maintained homes, it's no surprise the two Kensingtons appeal to a large number of buyers. The longest hold period in the state is just over 11 years in Gawler South. This area has proven to be popular with retirees because of its flat land and big old fashioned level blocks. It's no surprise when these homes come onto the market they're snapped up pretty quickly. So if you're looking to move to one of these areas, don't hesitate or you could be too late. 